A police investigation is on today after a homophobic letter was sent to a city councilor's office right inside of City Hall. Now, Councilor Kristen Wong Tam says she and her staff are remaining extremely vigilant today after the hate filled mail has left their office feeling disturbed. When hate speech is, is uh, directed at you, I think there's always a, a tone of threat. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you what that whether it's a call to action, but I can tell you that it makes you feel unsettled. This nasty letter has Councillor Kristen Wong Tam's office on edge. They use the, the N-word. Um, they uh, use derogatory language to describe gay people. Um, and, uh, and essentially the letter was, uh, was saying that uh, we, uh, as gay people, don't have a place in Toronto. The words weren't the only cause for concern. The councillor says it was also threatening in nature. One line reading, now with the police not at your parade, it makes it easy to hurt you all in a big way. The councillor says this is the fourth anonymous letter she's received in recent years with the same handwriting. There was no choice. Um, when you receive correspondence like that, that's, that's, that's threatening. Uh, the best thing for me to do is to contact the police. In each of those instances, a different return address was used, but this time it was that of a controversial Toronto publication. I think Adolf Hitler is, uh, um, uh, he's my second greatest idol after Jesus Christ. City News first told you about your ward news and the previous police hate crime investigations into its publications. The newspaper was cleared in 2015, but another investigation was launched earlier this year after swastikas and other offensive material were found inside the paper. In an email statement to City News Editor-in-Chief James Sears says neither he nor anyone associated with the publication or the new Constitution Party of Canada were behind the letters saying the fact that it was written anonymously yet contains our return address was written in a very inflammatory manner and was timed to be mailed a mere two weeks before a board of review into our mailing rights makes the letter appear to be a hate crime hoax. Toronto Police say it's too early in the investigation to speculate where the letter came from. It's something we're going to look at. It's, it's obviously not something we're going to jump to a conclusion and say that it, it was them. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there needs to be some investigation. You can write anything on an envelope to try and point blame at somebody. So there is going to be an element to this investigation to, to investigate that specifically. It's every little thing. This piece of mail was delivered on a day where millions around the world are marking the Day of Pink, a movement against bullying, discrimination, homophobia, transphobia, and trans misogyny. I want students to feel safe. I want them to feel protected, whether they're in the schoolyard or in the classroom, in their place of worship at home, or perhaps in their, uh, in their workplace. Now, Toronto, please tell us the letter will be sent to a forensics lab to test for any fingerprints.